Let me tell y'all how Black Mirror fucking exposed the Matrix. Now, for those of you who don't know, Black Mirror is a show, right? That apparently, like, every single episode is a whole new scenario, different characters, all that shit. And when I looked it up to find out what the fuck the purpose of the show was, I didn't even know, I didn't know what the fuck the purpose was at first. The purpose is pretty much just to show the darker aspects of humanity and, like, random scenarios that involve, like, like, like I said, more of the darker aspects of humans and stuff like that, you know? So my spirit guys actually had me watch this show, and I, I didn't really, like, know why. Like, one of my friends mentioned it. Then another one did, and, like, I was already feeling the vibe to watch it, and it's like, there was too much shit going on, I'm like, okay, I'll just fucking watch this shit, and literally my spirit got just, they'll have me, like, scroll and just pick a random episode and say, yeah, that one, watch that, I'm like, okay, now, when I first got into the show, I'm like, why the fuck do y'all have me watch this shit, like, like, the first episode of, I forgot which season it was, but it, it, it involves, like, they pretty much have these TV shows called Somebody is Horrible, like Jane is Horrible, right? And it's like the TV show pretty much shows all the worst moments of, like, the person's life and all this. It's actually a pretty funny episode. But, like, some episodes, I'm like, what the fuck is really going on here? And then my then my guy started explaining the point of the show and then, like, why they want me to watch because they want me to just pretty much experience these random scenarios and put myself inside their shoes and all this other shit, right? So, watching the Matrix one, right? Yo, watching this shit, I was like, oh, I see why I want me to watch this stuff. Because inside that episode, right, there's a guy. It starts off, a guy wakes up inside this room, right? It's like a smart room. Every single, like, like all the walls are made of, like, glass. As if it's, like, like a phone screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like you could, like, pull up apps on it, all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could, like, play video games on that shit, watch TV on it, you know? And you notice that, like, I don't know if they showed this before or after, but I'm going to just act like they showed it after. So, at some point, right, the guy gets out his bed and shit, gets out the room, and then goes to what looks like a gym. There's just these bicycles, and in front of the, and in front of the bicycles are pretty much these screens. I didn't know what the fuck was going on at first, but I eventually realized, oh, okay, they pretty much have to pedal because whatever the fuck they're pedaling actually powers something. And the more they pedal, the more money they get. They get money for pedaling and stuff like that, right? So the guy has almost like fucking, let's just say $15 million, right? It's called something else, but I'm just say $50 million, $50 million Bitcoin, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so he's working, powering energy and stuff like that so to get money and shit. But it's like... That's all they like. It's like it's like, and he gets money. Like he's, you could buy, you could buy food with the money. There's certain games that you could play while bicycling or while being at the house. You could like use money to buy like stuff for your character. You could use money to like, let's see, like you want to like skip an ad. You use money to skip ads. All kinds of shit. But it's like even though you're working and you're getting money, it's like these people are like harvesting your energy and you can't really do much about it. Like you can't really break out. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone lives the same exact life of being inside like that smart room where you think that that shit would be lit. You got video games. You got all this shit. But it's like you can only live inside that smart room by yourself. And then you go to the same exact place every single day powering some shit. You don't even know what the fuck you're powering. Just so you can actually get money and then survive and buy food there. And it's like... Yeah, you know, so with all that being said, right, at some point of the show, they show this commercial that pretty much it's like it's like this reality. It's like it's like American Idol. Right. And pretty much like if they like you, they pretty much give you like your own like show. You could pretty much live like outside the Matrix, kind of. Like you live better than everybody else, but you're still inside the Matrix because you start seeing this shit later on. So, the guy I was talking about, right, he meets this girl who's new to the facility, right, and she's able to sing and stuff like that, and he's like, yo, bro, you try to sing it, like, your voice is beautiful, all this other shit, right, there's a back, there's back and forth, all this other shit, eventually she agrees, and then pretty much, but, but she only agrees because the guy actually bought her ticket, you gotta actually buy a ticket to audition, the ticket costs like 15 million dollars, so he pretty much spent damn near all his money on that girl, you know what I'm saying, to buy the ticket, 
He bought the ticket, gifted it to her. She was like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Then they go to the place, right? So, and keep in mind, too. Also on the TV, I should have said this a bit earlier. On the TV, right, they show you, you have one game, right? That's you riding a bicycle and stuff like that. So it's like, it's like as you ride the bike, you see yourself riding a bike on the screen. There's also a game where you can like shoot shit. Like it's like Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? And then there's also, you could like, you could like watch like corn. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You could watch corn with a P, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, and if you really think about it, it's like, those are like the main distractions. And then, then there's also, you can also watch the whole American Idol shit. So they, they distract you with, like, video games, corn, and celebrities. You see what I'm trying to say? And also the illusion of making money, even though it's like you're still stuck doing this one thing. And you can't really escape. And, like, yeah, you, you need money for dumb shit and all this other shit. You're forced to work anyway. And, like, yeah, so... You know what I'm trying to say? But anyway, the girl, start, the, the girl auditions, right? And the guy's with her because like, you could bring a friend and stuff like that, right? So when she gets on, before, before she gets on the stage, they have her drink a drink, right? That's called compliance. You see what I'm saying? When she drinks it, she's like, oh. She gets like all spacey and shit. And it's called compliance. Now, when she hops on the stage, right? Immediately, one of the guys is like, Hey, I'm trying to see your, like, I'm trying to see your jaws. You know, trying to see the melons. They trying to see the melons. You know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she's like, uh. Like, she's, she's like, she doesn't want to do it. She says she don't want to do it, but she's like, damn, like, do I have to do it? She's kind of, so she's kind of about to do it. But then one of the girl judges, they were like, okay, chill. Like, we don't, you don't got to actually do that shit. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, okay. Then she starts to sing. And they love her. They're like, yo, we haven't seen a talent like you since the last, whoever the fuck her name was, right? And the, and the top talent at the time, they actually had, like, they pretty much had the girl before she performed. They had her, god damn, hold up, I'm over here fucking shit up, hold up. So before, before auditioning, right, they actually had the girl make, like, a video, right? And they told her to say, let's say, let's say that the top singer at the time was, her name is Janet, right? They had the bitch say... I want to be the next Janet, pretty much, right? They had the bitch say that inside the camera. Here's what that's important, right? After the bitch get done singing, right? They're like, oh my God, we ain't had nobody this good since Janet. And then one of the other guys, right, who was also a judge, was like, yo, the whole entire time I was seeing you up there, I couldn't help but imagine some more um, erotic things. I couldn't imagine, I couldn't help but imagine you pretty much being like naked and like seeing the melons, you know, and you want to see the melons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh boy, but yeah, he's 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 pretty much saying all that shit, and he's trying to convince the girl to like take off her shit. You know what I'm saying? Or not? Nah, they actually no 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 no. Wait, it was either to take off her shit right then and there, and or because because okay, so she got offered at some point to be a part of like her own show. Remember how so you could watch corn with a P? So there's like a whole network for that, right? And they, the, the guy offered her to be pretty much on that network because he wants to see her, you know, be all sexual and stuff like that. So he might have only offered that or also said, take off your stuff in front of us, too. But he definitely offered the whole TV show shit. Right. Or and, and if she didn't take that, she couldn't really like do it. She had to go back to the Matrix pretty much. You know, is it, is it that she took the deal or, or, or go back to the Matrix? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah, and then even the girl at some point was like, yeah, I kind of want to see it too. <laughs> and all the and every single judge is like, yeah, you pretty much got to like do the whole like corn thing or else you got to um go back to the Matrix, right? And it kind of shows you like, damn, like in order to be a star, you kind of got to do like some like some like some like nasty things. You got to like do shit that goes against your morality and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And they literally had the girl drink a drink called compliance to make her comply. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much after that whole entire thing, right? The guy's in the, the, by the way, the guy is backstage like, no, no, because like, you know what I'm saying? He likes the girl and stuff like that, but they pretty much like drag him out and everything. So you see that like the next day, right? The guy wakes up, you know what I'm saying? He's playing the little shotgun game, I think it is. And then like an ad pops up for the corn thing, like a new corn episode, right? And it's showing the girl that he likes. <laughs> I'm laughing because like, since it's, since it's like not a real scenario, it's kind of funny. 
the girl's like, I want to be the next Janet. And then you just see, like, the girl, like, getting talked to dirty and, like, and, like the guy's putting a thumb in her mouth and shit like that, like, doing all these nasty things and shit. And the guy's like, no, no. And normally you could, like, skip the ad, but he spent all his money on the girl. So he's forced to watch the shit. And when you close your eyes, right, it literally says, like, it literally pauses the shit. And it literally says resume. And then it's like a loud ass ringing noise. And the ringing gets louder every time it says resume. It goes like resume. Ee, resume. Ee, resume. Ee. Like it just gets louder and louder. You know what I'm saying? So like you actually like start watching again. You know what I'm saying? So he's forced to watch that shit. At some point he starts punching the screen. And then, you know what I'm saying? He um like like a piece of a piece of the glass falls out. Here's why that's so important, because there's actually more. So the piece of glass falls out, you know what I'm saying? And at some point he gets this idea, right? You don't really you don't really know what the idea is. It just starts to do like a time lapse. The guy he, he picks up the glass shit, right? And is like Well, actually no, he picks it up, cuts his hand a little bit, right? And then stops. And then a whole and he's just like sitting there thinking, then a whole time lapse happens pretty much, right? In the time lapse, you pretty much see him. He, he's biking fast as shit. He's getting money. He's he's dancing inside of his like room, and also he's not spending money on food. There's actually a different girl that actually likes the guy, but the guy don't really notice that shit. Pretty much, right? And it's funny because like that girl pretty much taught the guy, right? He taught the guy. I mean, she taught the guy that when the vending machine doesn't work. If you go inside there and open this latch, then you'll actually get your food. You know what I'm saying? So, because the vending machine often don't work. And that was like a secret trick that like only she knew. And it's funny because the guy, right? The guy actually taught that trick to the other girl that he liked. Like, because he didn't notice the girl that liked him. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of showed a couple of things, too. Because that guy, right? He, he, literally, he, really, he literally took what the girl who liked him showed him and then showed it to the other girl. Even used the same jokes as the girl. Because the girl said to him, the most natural, the most natural thing inside the vending machine probably comes from the lab. You know what I'm saying? He said that same thing to the girl that he likes. So it's like it kind of showed how niggas be assholes and how it's like a girl will like them and show them things and then they just take that and then they show it to a different female. That shit kind of fucked up. Or vice versa, girls could do that to guys also. That shit was just kind of funny to me anyway, right? But anyway, because he knows that technique, right? When people food wouldn't come out, he wouldn't buy food. He would just take they shit when they leave the vending machine. You know what I'm saying? So he's pretty much saving up money. And practicing his dancing. So immediately I already knew. He's trying to audition. But I didn't really know why he wanted to audition. At some point he makes the money. Buys a ticket. He auditions right. And he, he doesn't drink the compliance. Because when the girl drank the compliance. She gave the juice box to the guy. He kept the juice box. So he was like. I don't need your fucking compliance. I already drunk my shit before I came on the stage. And they're like oh okay bet. You know what I'm saying. So with that being said right. He starts, he starts practicing dancing and shit, right? But as he's dancing, everyone's loving it, by the way, too. As, he, as he's dancing, though, he pulls the glass from, like, out of his back and puts it to his throat. And he pretty much just starts preaching and shit. Like, at first, he's like, he's like, oh, this is, like, your whole entire system is bullshit. What the fuck are we doing here? We're powering some shit. We don't know what the fuck we're powering. All this other stuff, right? And then, like, it just gets silent and stuff like that, right? And then the one of the judges, he's like, you know what, bro? I want to hear more about what you have to say. So the guy just starts snapping. He's pretty much just going off about the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody loves it. And then the guy is like, you know what, bro? How would you like your own podcast on my platform? So it's like the guy, right? Who's trying to make a statement about the Matrix. Hold up. Man, niggas just blew my shit. Anyway. Fuck, hold up. Yeah, so... The guy is preaching about the Matrix, right? And how it's all fucked up and shit like that, right? But then he gets offered a show that's pretty much a part of the Matrix. So he gets offered the show, right? And you don't really know if he takes the deal or not. You just see that like a day later, right? There's a guy who's biking inside the gym. And then he's watching the guy who had a, who had a glass to his neck. He, the, pretty much the guy has his own podcast now, right? And he's just preaching about how the Matrix is so stupid and how it's all fucked up. And then at the end of him preaching, right? You know what I'm saying? No one else sees this, but you see that from the guy's perspective who's preaching, right? He literally, he literally like stops preaching, right? T 
turns off the camera and then puts the glass inside of a box. And then pretty much every episode is just him talking shit about the Matrix while having a glass to his neck. You know what I'm saying? When you think about that shit, it's like, bro, you have people who talk about the Matrix, but then they literally become sellouts and become a part of the Matrix. And it also shows you how there's literally people, right, who watch videos and who watch people talk about the Matrix, but they don't do shit about it. It's like people watch shit that talks about, oh, fuck the Matrix, but they don't do shit to get out the Matrix. Or they don't do shit about the Matrix, you know what I'm saying? And their original person who was talking about the Matrix eventually becomes a part of the fucking Matrix. Like, they literally expose the Matrix in so many different ways inside that episode. I don't really know what the fuck it was called. I don't know which episode or which season, but y'all can find that shit on Netflix if y'all want to type shit. I'm sorry, I don't remember what the fuck it is, but yeah. That's it for this video, bro. It's been your boy, Dot, from Dot Me Now, Coach Again Entertainment. Coaching link's down below. Spirit Guide Reading's down below. Star City Reading's down below. Everything's down below. Patreon, Discord, everything, bro. I love you all. Catch my next video. Peace.